Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your custom recovery, or in this case TWRP, a very popular custom recovery out there, to the latest version or to a newer version. Now I'm going to be using TWRP 3.1.0-0 as an example here, due to their recent release of it actually. So about pretty much all the devices that they officially support should have been updated to 3.1 already. So in this case uh, we'll get started pretty much straight away and then of course we'll have a little demo a quick look at the ADB backup that you can do directly from TWRP to your computer. So if your phone doesn't have enough, uh, let's say, well, space left on the SD card or internal storage, you can definitely, uh, this is what it should be, uh, I guess, fixing or addressing in this case. So we'll do, uh, I'll be showing you how to do this four different ways. Two of them require root access and three of them don't require a computer and one of them does. So I'll be going over using the official TWRP app and also Flashfire and also updating through within TWRP within the recovery and of course using Fastboot to do so. So without any further ado, uh, let's get started. So the first well, the first option where we use TWRP's um, official app, we don't need to download any files. All we need to do is head over to the app. Sorry about the uh, weird lighting, I guess. It's just, it helps without to get rid of the reflections. So here we are, we need to tap agree, one with root permissions, and we don't need to bother about the last one. We tap OK. And what we want to do is TWP flash. We have to select our device here, so we'll look for a Nexus 6P. So we'll just locate that real quick, or we just search for it. It's called Angler, isn't it? There we are. Okay, whoops. So we also need to grant root access. Select our device and then type in Angler. There we are. And this will search up all the versions available for it. And we download the latest one, which is at the top. I'm going to tap OK. Well, that'll take us to a website where we download it. And we need to tap the big one download TWRP 3.0, the IMG file, the one that ends in image. And that'll download it. Once it's downloaded, we can go back into the t official TWRP app. And from there, we select the file to flash. So I'll wait for this download to finish downloading and then we'll have a look at flashing it. Okay, so it's almost finished downloading. And once that is done, we can now tap on select the file to flash, locate where it's downloaded. So download, my download directory or downloads folder. I guess we need to check it, select, and then we tap flash to recovery at the bottom. And we're gonna tap on okay. And from there, that should do its thing. So we're done. We'll just reboot quickly into TWRP. Hopefully we can do it from here. Yes, we can. Reboot into recovery. And let's have a look at TWRP 3.1-0. So I guess this is one of the easier ways of doing it, but we'll do it using Flashfire and within the TWRP recovery which I shall show next. Once we get into recovery, just to prove that we are on, in fact, 3.1, as you can see down here, uh, we, can, we are on 3.1. Method number two is using Flashfire to update TWRP. And to do this, you'll either need to have the TWRP image copied over from your computer, or you could download it on your phone from Chrome or whatever browser you may choose to use. So once you have the TWRP image on your device, we can now go ahead and use Flashfire as usual. We're going to open it, it'll require root access, check our partitions and all that. Once that is done, we're going to tap on the little plus button here and then tap on flash firmware package. And we're going to locate where our image file is. So mine is in the downloads folder. And then we are going to locate that image file. There we are. And then we have our recovery. Make sure it says recovery there. And we're going to tap the tick. Actually, no, we're not. We are going to uncheck this preserve recovery option here. That's so it doesn't restore the older version of TWRP. And then actually we're going to, to change the reboot into recovery and we shall see TWRP flashed as well. So I'm going to tap OK and we'll wait for the magic to happen. And there we are, it will reboot us into the recovery mode. So then we can see TWRP working just as well. 
And when we breach recovery, I'll show you method number three, using TWIP to flash the image. So I'll fast forward this until we reach into the recovery properly, and then from there we shall see, or we shall do step number three. Okie dokie, we're in TWRP version 3.1 and so here is our third option that we can choose is to flash it within the recovery. Now this does work, although I am on 3.1 already. So when you go tap on install, tap on install image and then locate the TWRP image, which is in here. You're going to select it to flash to the recovery partition and we're going to swipe to confirm flash. Now once that is done, you can pretty much reboot back into the recovery using the reboot menu here on the home screen. We're going to tap on recovery and that will boot us into the recovery. Last but not least, option number four, we can flash it in fastboot. I guess useful for if, for if you're already in fastboot and ready to do things like that. So what we're going to do is hop over back to our computer here and that is where we are going to do some cool things. So I've already organized this a little bit. We have our TWRP image, all we need to do is bring up the best way for you to use fastboot. Uh, if you followed my video on how to get it, you can just open up any old command prompt window and start typing away. Otherwise, you'll need to do whatever it is that uh, enables you to use fastboot. So I'm going to bring up how I use fastboot just by the command prompt window. And if you have it set up a different way, then you do that. So the basic command is to flash this version of the TWRP image to the recovery partition, as it usually is. So we're going to type in fastboot devices. And if nothing pops up, you're going to make sure your device is connected. Now sometimes we, when you reboot your device into different, I guess, modes, you need to replug the USB sometimes. But otherwise, you may need to try a completely different USB cable or even check that your drivers are installed properly. Now, I should have my device connected here now, and if you just give me a secondo, I shall get this up and running. So when I type in fastboot devices again, we should see our device, and there we go. So to do this, we're going to type in fastboot, flash, recovery, leave a space in the end here, and then drag in our image onto the command port window and hit enter, and that'll flash the recovery, and then from our device here, we can go down until we see recovery mode, press the power button to reboot into it. And there we are, TWRP 3.1 should be flashed onto your device. And now while we wait for our phone to boot into TWRP, we can definitely try out the new ADB backup commands. So I have this uh, kind of laid out for everyone. If I can just move it in a way so we can see both. What I'm doing here is uh, we can do a backup of just say a couple of the partitions here, like the boot, I'll just back up the boot image or the boot partition. And basically it'll be uh, ADB backups pretty much. So let's just have a look here. So with our command prompt, we are going to try it out now. So I'm going to type in ADB devices. And hopefully we'll see our device in recovery. There we are. And then we can type in ADB backup, the location of our image, so that of our backup, so that would be dash F, and we need to specify location, otherwise, or sorry, a file name, and it will save it in our, the same directory where our command prompt is located, so my users folder, and I'll name it boot dash backup. Not sure what extension I'll have to give it, but I don't think it really matters. And then I'm going to do double dash TWRP. Make sure this doesn't time me out, just so we can see things. And then we will type in double dash compress to make uh, the sizes a little bit smaller. And then we are going to back up the boot image or the boot partition. And this should work if we just press enter. I can see here we are backing up the boot and our backup folder is oh just in there just as um what it is so let's check out our user folder and see if anything popped up 
otherwise it's just on our device there we are our boot backup it is 32 megabytes now if we looked at the log before it should have been located in our in our backups folder but maybe not sorry when we restore it you can see it's not there and it's on our device here so that is pretty neat and to restore it all we have to do is type in adb restore and let me just read the documentation just in case I get it wrong and file name so I can type in um, backup dash boot or is it the other way around boot backup whoops there we are and we can see on the device we are restoring from a backup here and restoring our boot image as as it was before so there we are and it doesn't actually touch anything on our device contrary to what the log says I think so that is pretty neat so of course you can tack on say the system and other things here if you choose to add these partitions in and that's about it thank you guys for watching this video on how to update your custom recovery TWRP namely to the latest version and we also got to try out some of the new ADB backup feature for TWRP 3.1 which is pretty neat so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or other videos that you might like to see I guess within reason and if I can actually do it properly and uh, feel free to let me know down below in the comments as well and so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one